Hello there, thanks for joining me for this OET speaking lesson, which is all about back strain. What we're going to do is take a look at some tasks that could come up during a role play with a patient who is presented with back strain. And we're going to take a look at what key phrases you could use to start each task. This is a medicine special, but do stay with me if you're one of the other OET professions, because all of this is useful for you, because it helps you analyse tasks and gets you thinking about key phrases. So the tasks that we're going to look at today are giving a possible diagnosis, giving advice and then making recommendations. My name's Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning and I'm premium preparation provider of the OET. Thanks for joining today. Okay, so let's get started and take a look at the background. And I want you to imagine that your regular patient has presented with mild back strain following an exercise class. He or she is otherwise fit and healthy. So the OET will always give you a background, of course, um, in your task card, and they'll tell you things like your patient or your regular patient, so you know them already. They're not somebody new to you. And think about the situation. It's a clinic, it's a GP practice, something that they're familiar with. It's not an emergency. We're going to pick up this role play a little bit along the way and your patient has just told you how they think they got the back strain and that was in the exercise class so we're not starting at the beginning but just a little way into the role play okay so the first task i'd like to look at today then is this one you've been asked to give the possible diagnosis of mild back strain overstretching your muscles or ligaments and this is not a cause for concern i'm going to give you 30 seconds to make some notes Think about how you could begin this part of the role play. Your 30 seconds starts now. Okay, so have you had some ideas? How could you go about doing this part of the role play? Well, let me give you some suggestions about how you could tackle this. So you could start by saying something like, from what you've told me, it sounds like you've got mild back strain. So you're referring to what the patient has told you, and then you're giving the possible diagnosis. It sounds like you've got mild back strain. Have you ever heard of back strain before? So check what the patient knows. They might be really familiar with this idea or it might be something completely new to them. You don't know. So just check with them. Do they know what this is? If they're not sure, you could explain. That sometimes happens when we overstretch muscles or ligaments. It's something that might have happened in your exercise class. So refer back to what they've told you. And then you could say something like, it's, you know, well, it's nothing to worry about. It tends to go away by itself in time. So it's not a cause con for concern. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, second task coming up for you. Advise on the next steps. For example, a physical examination to confirm the diagnosis, etc. Okay, what could you say in this part? 30 seconds to have a think by yourselves. Okay, and in this case, you might want to say something like this. Okay, shall we take a look at what we can do next to help? 
I can arrange for a physical examination to confirm the diagnosis. Would that be okay? So don't stress if the task card asks you for a physical examination. Of course, you don't need to do this in the OET. They're not checking your clinical skills, just your English skills. So just say something to push this idea away from the current situation. I can arrange for a physical examination to confirm the diagnosis. Would that be okay? Or you can change this physical examination to check what we think has happened is actually what's happened and always check with the patient if that's okay don't forget to signpost and tell them that you're moving on to talk about what would happen next as well okay final task coming up for you recommend one week off exercise classes for example not exercising when in pain not ignoring the pain etc just be careful here it's not one week off exercise classes like they don't want you to recommend a week of classes but it's one week away double f off exercise classes okay 30 seconds to have a think here what would you say in this case you could start by saying what i would recommend is that you take a break from doing any exercise for a bit so you're starting off with the signaling the signposting what i would recommend is and then you're going on to say your recommendation then you could move on to say about a week to start off with and see how you go how does that sound so you're always checking with them what do they say they might say, oh no, I can't do that, I love my exercise, or I need to lose weight, or whatever it happens to be, and go back and say something like, I know you love exercising, but it's important not to exercise when you're in pain, as that could aggravate the symptoms. Try to listen to your body and don't ignore the pain. If your body is telling you to rest for a bit, it's a good idea to do that. So, Lots of nice things like try to listen. We've got a little conditional here as well. So these are some ideas that you could use to encourage your patient to take your recommendation seriously. So remember in your OET role plays, always check what the patient knows already. Do they know what back strain is in this case? Ask for permission. Is that okay if I organize a physical examination for you? signpost so tell them that you're moving on okay shall we look at what happens next let's look at some recommendations and don't forget to pause to give them time in between what you're saying to a understand what you're saying take it all in and b allow them time to ask questions well then i hope you found that useful if you want more help with your oet why not check out my on-demand pre-recorded courses uh, they're all pre-recorded so you can study them in your own time access them whenever you want to i'm going to put in some discount codes for you below and if you like this i'd be so happy if you could help me grow this channel by subscribing pressing like sending this to a friend or a colleague and sharing this with other people Finally, why not sign up for a free newsletter for a regular dose of all things OET and I'll send you OET information, updates and lessons straight to your inbox. Thanks very much for watching, take care and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.